Hi, I'm Scott North, Director of Corporate and Private Events at TO Live, doing another one of our video series. Uh, today we want to talk about what makes an effective site inspection. So that's a great question. If effective, how, how do I judge whether or not I'm effective at, at showing clients through our spaces? Right now we're in one of our lounges up on the mezzanine level at Meridian Hall. So we've got Meridian Hall and St. Lawrence Center downtown here, Meridian Arts Center uptown. Uh, so a client is going to host an event. They have a company objective that, that is, is, comes along with that event. So they have to go out and look at spaces and find the space that is going to best meet that objective. So I'm here to show people around. I had four site inspections yesterday. And uh, so my, my first response as to what makes it effective is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them through um, I'm going to let them see the space, but they're the ones with the creative vision. So they just, they do that. Um, I will explain the features, but I'll let them determine their benefits and, and just, you know, just give as much information as I can as I, as I go around with them. But the person that's going to definitively answer what makes that site inspection effective is the event planner. And, you know, depending on, who they are and what objective they're trying to achieve, they would be the person to say, yeah, this, this worked out well and this is, this is going to meet our objectives. But so I, I don't have a definitive answer. And quite frankly, depending on who the event planner is, uh, there could be several different ways to do an effective site inspection. But because of all that, because of the uh, unknown nature, I went out actually and asked a few people. So we have we deal with a, a, a very large charitable foundation uh, that we did an event with, uh, or sorry, an event is upcoming. We did one a while back, but I asked them what makes an effective site inspection. So I'll, I'll read verbatim. It's really about providing a very thorough rundown of the space from the entrance to the stage also providing all the details that we won't be privy to just yet, like loading docks, nearby parking, power sources, back of house specs, rules, regulations, etc. So, okay, so a, a very thorough rundown of the space. Absolutely. When you come in here, I'm going to take you from the front entrance to stage door and everything in between. I'll talk about capacities. I'll talk about sound systems, lighting systems, uh, our executive chef and the food and beverage team in the kitchen and, and how the food and bev works within here. Um, our different suppliers from Chairman Mills to the butler did it, the staffing agency, um, different protocols, different, uh, yes, rules and regulations, but really we're here to serve you. And so as the client coming in here, um, we kind of work for you. So we will do what's necessary to get your event done. And yes, along the way, if there are rules that we have to let you know, we'll certainly do that. But uh, thorough from start to finish. So that's what that's what I would do. And um, you know, hopefully that's effective. So another another client, we did something very very recently with a very uh, a large government organization, and they came back. What, what makes an effective site inspection? So they said, share the vision of what we want and be able to collaborate and suggest elements that have worked or not in the past, going through different contingencies and hand-holding. So you talk about collaborative and hand-holding and, and I, I feel one of the, uh, the most valuable scenarios in here is when we work as a team. Again, I said, we, we are here to serve the client, absolutely. But when we, the client can be transparent with us and, and you know, they're sharing their vision or they're sharing what they, their objective of the event, as I referred to before, we, we want to help with that. And so, you know, the worst thing that could happen for us is if we make a suggestion that we know or, or, or that eventually does not go to the objective of the event that the client has. Um, I'll give an example of, of something that I got actually just before coming here. There's, we have St. Lawrence Center across the street. It's got 868 seats in it. The client wanted a space for 850. Uh, they could go in and do a town hall type scenario and then come out and have a reception. Well, the problem with the St. Lawrence Center is when they built that place in 1970, 
the, the, the capacity inside the theater is 868. The capacity on two levels of lobby spaces is 616. So they didn't consider having a full house and then coming out and having some type of entertainment or reception uh, networking afterward. This client just approached me earlier today about doing that. I, I can't in good conscience say to them, yes, we could do that just for the sake that we, you know, we get them in here one time. It, it doesn't meet the objective. Unless, you know, a third of their people left after the event, um, they can't fit 850 people on the lobby spaces to have a reception. So collaborative, um, absolutely, and, and team. We work as a team and we do have your best interests in mind uh, prim primarily. So one, one last person, and I will, I will name this person, uh, Bob Clark, the general manager of Jackson Events, and we recently did a podcast with Bob, so I was able to ask him what makes an effective site inspection. He said, allow the client to view the areas they want to see, and in some cases, as their event might flow. Also, all good event planners have vision, so only viewing venues with setup should not matter. And, and I absolutely agree with this. When, when you come in here as a, an event planner, an event producer, um, you're the creative one and you know what you are, are trying to achieve. I keep referring to that, but uh, I, I much prefer to show spaces that, you know, are empty. They're, they're in kind of our public setup, which we are in now up in this lounge that we're in. And so I, I walk you through, I walk you through, tell you about the things. And that's what I was saying. I can explain the features, but you have to determine your own benefits and you have to use your vision to understand, you know, can we put, this activation at that space, that activation at that space. And, and event planners and producers, they, they're all creative and they all can do that very easily. They've been doing it, most of them, for years. And, and even the, uh, the rookies, um, they have that special creative flair. So I, I can show you through. Um, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to run your event. Absolutely not. I can certainly tell you if, if, if you're running an event that's similar to something that we did before, I can certainly tell you, you know, what went well, maybe some pitfalls along the way, what to watch out for, uh, how to work within this environment. Uh, because, you know, there, we're a multifaceted, all kinds of multi different, or many different departments and whatnot. Uh, so I can help with that, but never will I, you know, try and sway it to run in something one way or another. And I will definitely always allow you to see your, you know, see your vision in, in an empty space. We do not have activated anything, but say a, a public setup. So uh, speaking with three clients, uh, I, I, I was happy to hear. And the one client, the, the um, foundation, they actually gave me that insight just prior to doing a site inspection. And so I ran a site, site inspection like I typically do. It's, it's thorough, it's collaborative, it's uh, thinking of the client's best interests first. And I asked specifically, okay, you gave me um, what you wanted to do, did I, how did I do? And, and they were extremely happy, so, which makes me happy. And, and kind of the way in which I do my site inspections were definitely in line with three different clients. So I will continue to do that. But if you want to come down and you have an event uh, with an object, a company objective that you want to, to achieve and you want to do a site inspection, uh, shoot me an email and, and you can come on down to any one of our three venues and I will look forward to seeing you.